Have you ever spent hours creating a 3D animation using Blender to then have to wait for what seems like an eternity for your one and only slow computer to render several hundred frames? If so, I have a solution for you. Don't render your Blender projects by yourself and instead save your project and then upload it to Sheep at Render Farm and let dozens of computers complete the rendering task in a fraction of the time you could do it on your own. Visit sheepit-renderfarm.com and join the Sheep at community so you can experience the benefits of having your project's workload distributed over multiple computer systems. Sheep at Render Farm is absolutely free and safe to use, so go ahead and create an account. Become part of the Sheep at community. Once you create an account, sign in to Sheep it and then get started by clicking on the Get Started menu tab. To enable your computer to help with the workload, you have three options. You can use the Java-based web client, the Windows 64-bit client, or the command line client for those people whose computers have an operating system other than a 64-bit version of Windows. To get started, just follow the very easy to understand instructions on the Get Started page. Once you have the Sheep at Client on your computer, open it and then sign in using the same login information you use to sign into your account on the website. You can set the number of CPU cores you want to dedicate to helping other people render their projects and set the priority your system gives the rendering process. Once you have your login information entered, you can click Start to allow your computer to be added to the render farm. Keep in mind, you can still use your computer for pretty much everything you normally would because Sheep it runs in the background. The purpose of connecting your computer to the render farm is twofold. First and foremost, if you want other people to help render your projects, it's only fair that you help other people render their projects. Second, Sheep prioritizes the distribution of submitted projects based on the number of points accumulated by the person submitting the project. This is one reason why helping other people render is so important because the more frames and time you spend helping other people render their projects, the more points you earn. The more points you earn, the quicker your projects will be rendered when you submit one. You can always check on the number of points you have earned by going to your profile. Keep in mind, points are almost like currency. For every frame you render, you earn points. And for every frame of yours that someone else renders, you spend points. Now that we have your computer set up to help render other people's projects, you can now submit one of your own projects to be rendered by the community. Click on Projects, and then when that page loads, click on Add Your Project. Keep in mind, when saving your project, you need to have Blender pack all your project's external data like image textures and audio files into your blend file and make all paths relative. You can also pack your project's assets into a zip file. Doing this will help ensure that your project doesn't have any missing files and will be rendered correctly. Now just sit back and relax while your project uploads to the Sheep at servers. Once your project is finished uploading, you can choose if you want all members of Sheba to render your project. If not, uncheck Renderable by All Members. You can then, from the Administration panel, choose who can render your project. You can also set the frame range you wish to be rendered, but it defaults to however the project was saved. You can also split your frames so that each frame's workload can be handled by multiple computers. Keep in mind, you should split your frames if each frame of your project takes longer than 20 minutes to render on a typical 4-core processor. This is done so that even weaker machines can help. You can also set the amount of memory that your project requires during the rendering process. Now that your project is active, you can control who can manage and render your project by accessing the settings on the right 
next to all the little squares. You can also choose whether you want your project to be rendered by only CPUs, only GPUs, or both. But keep in mind, generally speaking, GPUs should be primarily used for difficult to render frames, frames that require a lot of passes. Typically, over the next several minutes, you will see that some of these squares that represent your project's frames begin to turn orange, which indicates that they are currently being rendered by someone else's computer, or by your own computer. Before long, you will notice that they eventually turn blue. When that frame turns blue, that frame has been rendered. When a frame turns blue, you can then preview those frames by hovering over that blue square or by clicking on the blue colored magnifying glass. Once you do that, it will bring you to this page. And then you can click on the thumbnail and you can see a larger version of the frame that was just rendered. Over the next hour or a few hours, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how complex and how long your project is, you will slowly see that your project is being rendered. And over time, it will, you know, obviously complete. But when it's done, you can uh, preview all of your frames and then see if there's any of them that has a defect. And if that frame has a defect, you can click reset to reset that frame. But if it doesn't have a defect, then all you need to do is just click the green download button and all of your images will be downloaded at one time and compressed into a zip file. And that makes it really, really simple. And I guess that pretty much completes this uh, tutorial on how to use Sheepit. I use Sheepa all the time. It helps me a whole lot. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day. Later, people.